yeah. How do I look? I look like Jack Cassidy. <laughs> Not in your wildest dreams. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of work. Come on, lady. <laughs> you okay? Move. Oh, what, we're gonna have a good time tonight? Oh, no. Red carpet. Marty Mav borrowed the lovely lady for his single. Cocktails. Oh, I love the cocktail part. 33 years of wedded misery. Oh, God. Hey, when I met her, Glenn Ford and Burt Lancaster were in love with her. Both. And she married me now. That either is an imbalance in her medications, <laughs> or we laugh. We laugh, laugh all the time. <laughs> The ninth annual Movies for Grown Up Awards. Arp, arp, arp. It's an arp party. And Robert De Niro is getting Lifetime Achievement Award, and um, Jeff Bridges, who you gave your first job. Yeah, I love Jeff. Shirley is here, you know. Oh, sure. She gave you your first job. So, how about the way he went to her? You were so wonderful. Well, the night started off promising, but as usual, earlier in the day, getting Marty ready was damn near impossible. And you came in and said, get ready, get ready, get ready, as if I'm late all the time. Marty, Marty, what are you doing? Marty, it's time to get dressed. Hold it, I'm, I'm, I'll be, I'm writing a letter. I'm tired of doing this. I've done this all our life. I'm not doing it this time. We have to be there in an hour. It's not even I don't care. I'm sick of this, I really am. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for you to get ready. What, what, what letter are you doing? I'm just, we're gonna meet some people tonight, so I'd like to give some letters out. Marty's always writing these letters, asking for donations for the 9-11 park that we built on our land in Big Bear, California. Yeah, I'm always promoting because we always need money for the park. Well, Shirley's got this thing against me promoting anything. Oh, please, no, not again. For Marty to consistently take advantage of my friends asking for donations, it just isn't right. You know how many times that's backfired on you? Now, that didn't work with Sean Penn, as you know. I gave Harrison Ford the envelope, and remember what he said? Uh -huh. Don't ever call me again. I know. <laughs> and quite a few other people have said never call me again. Shirley. Shirley. Yes? Listen to me. Why don't you cooperate? What a mess you... You are not coming into my room until you're showered. You got that? Shower? Oh, my. i got to scrub down and make an appointment with my own wife now. You're a goody two-shoes. And that's not the way you get attention, I admit. That's a confession. No kidding. I need attention. Cheryl, where is my Michael Jackson jacket? <gasps> After 33 years, I didn't know that. How's, how's this? What? For tonight. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Please, it's a civil war. I'm not going to be on a red carpet with that. Cost me $160. No, you pay that much for it? <laughs> well, tonight will be good. I don't know why we've been invited. Once they see you, we won't be invited anymore. Oh, uh, come on, Joe. The truth is, I did make up five envelopes. Oh, I will you. walk out. Yeah? Please. Morgan Fairchild. Shirley Jones has to live with him. I know. You poor She doesn't want me to give an envelope. I'm going to disappear. No, no, Cheryl. Don't do that. Okay? Why? Because you belong with me here and now. This is why I'm here. Not why I'm here. Wait a minute. I'm asking you. Well, Shirley. I'm not doing this. Then go home. Go home. There are no appropriate places for schmoozing. You don't schmooze it. I have an envelope for Robert De Niro. I've had it for seven years, and I could do it in such a charming way. No remarks. <laughs> okay, I'll say, Mr. De Niro. Would you punch me in the mouth if I ask you to put this, put this in your pocket and I'll read it later? All right, I'll do it. Please, I'm serious. No, I got it. I you got promise? It. I got it. Now, that's funny. 
Marty Ingalls. Hey, Marty. How's it going, Would man? you punch me in the mouth if I gave you an envelope and asked you to take it home and read it? No, no. You sure? No, no. Okay. Would you punch me in the mouth if I gave you an envelope and I asked you when you get home, wherever you are on the, on the can, look at it. I thought you'd like serving no. me with a paper. No, no, no. Right. I've been trying to get it to you for two years. What? Okay. But now I gotta Just walk around it. with this. No, no, you put it here. No, it does, then, then, then my suit doesn't look good. I tried to put that night behind me, but two weeks later at Jerry's <laughs> Deli, well, Marty surprised me. Take a moment. What's that? Check. That says Jeff Bridges, and that says Morgan Freeman. Tell me it's inappropriate. It's nice to have it, Marty, and I appreciate it, but it's still inappropriate to do it at that time. But it's very Wait a minute, did I lose that one, or did I win that? <laughs> I know, I only married you because you're a movie star. Right. I say that all the time. After 33 years, right. I think I, I think I may have outlived that accusation. <laughs> I love hats. Cheryl? Yes. Wait a minute. Don't decide yet. Please. This is not right either. Oh, okay. The last one. I can't say no to this. <laughs> perfect for you. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Remember what Carl Reiner said when he met us? They asked him, did you meet Marty and Shirley? Remember? Yeah. And he said, I just don't know what he sees in her. <laughs> yeah. Schmuck, I never liked him. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs>